What's up guys, John from phillycomputerspot.com and today I want to show you how to fix the red tint on the QuickTime player when you do a screen capture and you load it into iMovies it has a red tint over it and I actually came across this by accident when I was doing a review for the program um, I'll go ahead I'll put the link to this program down in the description it's for Mac and Windows so I got all three of my screen captures I'm ready to go I open iMovies up Ready to do my editing, I take the clip, drop it in here, and my heart drops. There is a red tint over my screen recording program. I googled what this was. They said that you could open the video, export it. That does not work. Um, I tried it numerous of times. It definitely does not work. So I was like, you know what? I have this new video converter software. Let me try this out, and like I said, I, I honestly came across it accidentally, so I already did it. Let me go pull up a uh, new folder here, go into user, go into there, go into movies, Mac videos. All right, this is the one I converted this into this, drop this in there, and voila, it cleared the red tint. So how did, let me show you how I did this. So I'll close this down. I'll bring up the video converter. This is how it opens. You just click, this is what you want to do, add a video. I like to just drag it in, it's easier. So I already did the introduction. What I'll do is I'll drag the basics into here. This is the second video capture I did. I'm just going to do a regular, let's see, uh, we'll go to the Mac MP4 video. We'll click done. It's going to load it in here. We'll run it. This is going to take about two to three minutes to convert it because it's copying the video. What I'm going to do in the meantime while that's happening is I'll do some editing. This way you can see what I'm doing here. So this is the intro. If you take it right from QuickTime, it's going to come in red. So we want to get that out of here. There's no reason for this clip to be in there. I don't want to have a red clip. Here's the introduction. And you can see there's no red tint on this anymore. So while this is converting, let me show you in real time what happens. Here's my second video. I'm going to go ahead, drag this in here. The red tint. I can't get over why they would do this. I don't know if this is a security feature because they don't want screen recordings. So they put this in like a, uh, a Kodak, like where a copyright. I'm not sure why it's done, but it just so happens that this WinX program that I was doing a review on actually fixes the problem. So all you do is you take your screen recording, you drop it in there like I did. It's going to go ahead. It's going to convert this window. It saves this converting file into your video. So if you open this up, go to your users, go to your movies, you'll see Mac Video Library. So this video that was from QuickTime is going to convert in the software, put it in this folder, take this one, drop it into iTunes, and you can see it fixes the red tint problem. So just another bonus to the software. Um, and the reason why I wanted to jump in and do this video is because this is important. There is pretty much 50% of YouTubers who are doing videos and reviews are going to be using QuickTime because it's a free software that comes with your Mac so why aren't you going to use it but you can't have this red tint I mean if I would just uh, uploaded this in a red tint uh, I would hope all my subscribers would have just unsubscribed because that's just laziness but luckily I had this program it definitely works it doesn't change any of your frame drops it's still at I believe it's at the 30 frames still uh, everything matches up it's clear um, so definitely, definitely, if you're having that red tint problem, download this WinX program, drop your screen record into this program, convert it into an MP4 format, and then drop it into iTunes, and it will take away your red tint. All right, guys, so I hope this helps you out. Um, it sure as hell helped help me out, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.